All right, Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, in the shop again tonight. We've got another review for you. Some more B&M RC racing parts. These are the body washers and bolts, and the Max 5, Max 6 ESC um, on-off button uh, holder that goes down into the chassis. So we're going to review this stuff tonight and put it, put these on the body and possibly put this onto the truck. I'm not sure if I can go ahead with that step yet or not in my build. So I'll uh, get this package open and show you what's in there. All right, I've got the package open. And as I uh, said in the other videos, if you watch them, uh, this is just not just packaging, but they're actually stickers here. You can use the front here as a sticker and the back. I was throwing them up on my walls and in the shop too for some advertising for B&M because they're such a good company and I love their products so um, anyway yeah those will be all around my shop because they come with every package and I like that plus the reusable Ziploc bags I like that a lot of companies just come with those uh, uh, you know the vac or the uh, sealed ones that you can't reuse so these are great after you use after you take out the parts you can use the bags again I like that in my shop and so these washers and bolts go for here right there and there this is my unbreakable body it's seen better days but uh, it's it's pretty good still it's there's no rips or tears or anything like that it's got a couple of uh, bends and creases in it but the stuff we do with them I'm I'm not surprised it has uh, it doesn't have worse so anyway these go all the way around there's four in the front and four in the in the back so I'll get those out of the package and and get those installed it's pretty simple um, I'll tell you the tools I use to do it though and all that stuff and then I'll get this and uh, see if I can put that in too it's a nice little switch holder I really like that these are those new uh, 3d printed parts that everyone is starting to make these days and I really I like that it's it's good small companies now can come out with their own parts it doesn't have to be the huge manufacturers I love that and that's a really nice part it's gonna match my uh, green parts on my truck well maybe not identical match but whatever it's green I'm happy with that so I'm gonna I'm gonna put these uh, bolts in the body and show you what they look like all right one more thing before I do go on I had a rip in the back of my bumper here my trucks upside down right now you can see there uh, but this was a tear in the bumper right there and so I figured well instead of buying a new bumper just for that uh, before it does rip the whole corner right off I figured I'd use some e6000 by eclectic products and just glue, glue it up and uh, see if that holds because this stuff is really good it's rubbery it flexes it stretches it doesn't just break and crack and chip right out of there so that should get me by uh, until I can get another bumper or whatever like that um, I'll probably put a little bit more on that was one coat I'll probably do another coat it's already dried now it dries fairly quick but I still leave it you know quite a while and uh, the stuff gives off some fumes so make sure you do it in a ventilated area uh, but anyway e6000 by eclectic products I uh, don't go anywhere without that, especially when we're bashing. All right, there we go. I've got all the body washers and bolts installed now. There's the front ones. There we go. They look really good. Uh, it's kind of uh, bright in here, so you don't, I'm not getting the full color of the... It uh, kind of glares a lot. The, hold on, I'll try and get... It. My body's pretty beat up there, but... Yeah, they look nice. They're going to uh, give a lot more surface area on those big crashes. I'll go show you the back here. We'll give a lot more surface area on those big crashes so the body won't be ripping those screws out of them. Right out of the body. I've kind of have these here already. They're the same kind of style washer, just a different, uh, they're stainless steel ones, these ones. Um, and on the inside here, all the way around, I've built a bit of a cage for myself. It just keeps the back of the truck from flexing and, and bending the whole back of the truck off. Um, so yeah, the, it was a pretty straightforward uh, uh, swap out for the screws. So basically they gave, um, here's the stock ones, six short ones, two long ones. The two long ones go in the back here, across the back, because they are uh, they need just need to be longer. Um, so... I took out the stock screws and each hole I drilled out with just a small drill bit. I'm not exactly sure this size here. Uh, it's small. <laughs> just a bit bigger than the uh, threads of these screws here, the M3s. Um, I just wanted to, it didn't seem like they were going to go in. The new screws weren't going to go in uh, easily without really effort or, you know. So I just figured I'd drill them out just slightly. They went, out, went in a lot easier, so that worked good. Um, it was a... 
I'm not sure what size the uh, the Allen the um, bit was. I used a three millimeter and it seemed to fit fine with no slipping or anything. These are uh, standard, I believe, size. I'm not quite sure what that was. I probably could have found one in my other Allens, but I wasn't really too concerned because the three millimeter fit just perfect. So, all right, well, we're going to continue on this video. I'm going to get the motor swapped over into my other, um, the mount here. Sorry, I'm going to take this motor out, the stock uh, X-Max motor, and I'm going to swap it over this motor here and uh, see how that works out. So uh, give me a second here and I'll get this done. All right, I got the stock X-Max motor out of the Intigy mount here, and I've got the Hobby Wing motor uh, put, well, set in there. I'm going to have to do a few small modifications before I'm going to use this mount. Um, basically, what I'm going to have to do here is I can use, sorry, hold on, I'm going to set it up here so I can show you. So the motor has four mounting holes on the front. And this mount, when you slide it on, basically this hole will line up with one. These holes will line up with one on each side too. So I'm going to get three. But I'm going to have to drill these small holes out and countersink them uh, with a countersink bit. So they look just like this one. Um, and then I believe I can do that. I'll put that together. But then at the back, also because it has a, a plate that screws onto the back, when the motor is all put into there, and you say, hit a tree, like we do around here, or whatever, stop really fast with a, a front end smash, you know, hard a hit, nose dive, the motor and everything is gonna wanna slide forward. Well, if there's nothing holding the motor bolted to this plate here, this front plate can flex and bend forward. So Gord was just over here, Dozer, and he was saying to me that I should try to get at least one screw or a couple of screws into this casing in the back. So what I think I'm going to do um, is possibly, well, take off this end cap here. It's just a few screws that hold that end cap on. There's one there, one there. I think it's just three, yeah. And then that end cap comes off. So what Gord was saying was to just possibly drill and tap a couple of small holes that I can screw the end of that motor mount, sorry, this here with these two screws, I can screw them into the actual motor. So when the motor uh, and all the inertia of the truck stops dead, the motor won't just try and flex and bend the front of this motor mount off completely and, and you know, totally annihilate the gears or, you know, make everything just tweaked and it's just going to be not good. So I'm going to try and do that before I mount that in. And then if that somehow doesn't seem to want to go, you know, or work, I'll look into getting another motor mount. I have a couple around here, so we'll see what I can do with them. Anyway, I think we're going to end this video tonight, so thanks for watching guys, and uh, sorry it wasn't as long as I had figured on making a video, but that's how it goes sometimes, just uh, you got to flow with it, right? But anyway, that was the main object tonight, was to get these uh, body washers put into this unbreakable body, I got that done, so I'm quite happy with that, those are going to be a nice addition, keep the strength up in that body, and let it uh, continue its life for a long time around here. Anyway, you guys have a great night. Thanks a lot again for watching. Subscribe, hit the bell, like, all that stuff. And uh, as usual, Screaming Demons RC, SDRC, out.